Achieving interoperability between healthcare systems is a constantly evolving challenge. With dozens of digital systems at a given medical facility and numerous facilities within a medical network, the challenge of enabling systems to communicate is significant. Software products, including multiple intersystems technologies, have been built to improve interoperability and facilitate these connections. As we look more closely at the challenges of connecting systems and facilities, we will distinguish two types of interoperability, syntactic and semantic. Syntactic interoperability, where the structure of a message is defined but the meaning is not, makes it possible for systems to send and receive data in different formats. Without this, systems cannot communicate effectively. For instance, system A sends and receives patient information as HL7 v2 messages, and a patient-facing application on system B uses a fire repository with data represented in a JSON format. As it stands, system A cannot contribute to the fire repository, and thus, the application on system B cannot utilize that system's patient data. A tried and true solution for this problem is to have an intermediary system that transforms data from one format to another, such as from HL7 v2 format into the fire format via data transformations. By creating such a mapping, we achieve syntactic interoperability. That is, the two systems have a standardized way of exchanging data. The HL7 v2 and fire standards have paved the way for syntactic interoperability, which is critical to healthcare IT infrastructure. HL7 v2 is the most used interoperability standard in the world, with intersystems technology being used to exchange over 1 billion HL7 v2 messages each day. And as we enter a future focused on fire, consider that compatibility with the fire standard is now federally mandated for healthcare IT systems in many countries. But syntactic interoperability, while critically important, is not enough on its own. Healthcare interoperability always depends upon human decision making. For example, an engineer might determine how to set up a mapping for two health systems that use different data formats to communicate. As a result, discrepancies can arise across a chain of mapped systems. Achieving semantic interoperability can help avoid some of these discrepancies. With true semantic interoperability, data from systems has the same meaning and can be used in the workflow of the receiving system. Data elements are consistently defined and human interpretation is not required. Imagine one system describing a zebra to another system. In system A, the zebra is described as a white horse with black stripes. System B, meanwhile, defines a zebra as a black horse with white stripes. It's great that these systems can communicate clearly with each other and that this information can be transmitted in an understandable language. But how does each system know that they are describing the same thing? The ability to interpret nuanced language is one trait that separates humans from machines. Humans excel at disambiguating data like this, and most humans could identify that the two animals described are actually one and the same. In the world of healthcare, there are millions of zebras that systems need to describe, and semantic interoperability requires an agreement on which description to use. Let's consider how this concept applies to a real-world example from three separate electronic health record systems. Each clinician is documenting the same issue, suspected lung cancer. One system models this data as three different elements, the health concern of cancer, the body site, lung, and the status suspected. Another system may have a health concern of its own called suspected cancer, leaving the body site, lung, to be documented. And yet another system may have suspected lung cancer as a standalone entry for the clinician to select as a health concern. In the end, the data storage across the three systems in this example would have only one element in common the body site of lung on systems one and two. Beyond that, there is no way for these systems to determine, given the way this data is entered, that the entries all mean the same thing. Establishing common meaning is at the heart of semantic interoperability. As healthcare IT systems scale, the balancing act becomes more challenging between efficient setup of data schemas for IT developers and accurate data entry for clinicians. Achieving semantic interoperability will be a work in progress for the foreseeable future that involves not just technology, but also a certain level of human agreement, which can go a long way. One of the most valuable aspects of the FHIR standard is that everything is machine-readable, including FHIR profiles. This makes it possible to share FHIR implementations of data concepts across organizations. And if medical networks can agree on the FHIR profiles to use in their systems, they will be one step closer to achieving semantic interoperability.